Um, thank you. Thank you. And now I would like to read to you my new poem. <laughs> well, it's, um, it's not exactly that new, but it's, it's called Super Seymour. <clears throat> You're gonna like it. Um, Super Seymour. I wrote it myself. Um, Super Seymour certainly seems to see more. Super says more sleaze to speeze certainly sleep. <laughs> I mean, um, uh, Super Seymour sees the slee shore slouches in the, uh... <laughs> Let's join the men's conference. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, class. It's show and tell time. Who would like to be first today? I'll be first. I'll be first. Um, I want to show you this neat stuff I made. Hat, necklace, and matching bracelets, too. Uh, I made it with a paper plate and glue and yarn and glue and ruler and glue and scissors. Looks and like a Halloween costume to me. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, kid. Took me a long time to make this stuff. I'm very proud of it, too. It's not easy to make hats and bracelets and, and, boy, that's all. Okay, okay, hold down your excitement. Now I'm gonna show you what old Jeffrey's been doing all week. You wanna lower it down, please? Thank you. <clears throat> Here it is, Jeffrey's X469328-457276,764. Super Spaceship! It was really easy to build, too. First I took an old piece of wood and cut it in two, and then I sanded it with my dad's sandpaper, painted it with a couple of neat colors, knocked it together with hammer and nails, and covered it in tinfoil and tape. You see, I can use tools just like my dad. Hammers, saws, I use them all. Hey, will it fly? Sure it'll fly. Watch this. Five, four, three... Two, one, blast off! <laughs> well, there are a few bugs that have to be worked out. I'll, um, show you a new model next time. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Seeing how it's show and tell time, I'd like to tell you about my singing lessons. Listen to this. Do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. See, I practice that about 25 times a day. That's how I can do it so good. Dig it. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Yeah. Now, once I get that down cool, well, I add some words and some rhythm. Like, rock and roll is here to stay. Rock and roll is here to stay. Rock and roll is here to stay. Hey, hey, hey. See, someday... If I keep practicing, well, I might be a professional singer. Yeah, that's all. I'm through. Um, <clears throat> do you have something to show and tell, Seymour? Um, uh, Super says more, sleaze sues more, certainly, uh, say sore, la shore, la steel. <laughs> <laughs> And now, the continuing story of young Hiram Kneepad, a man untrue to himself, a man who fell victim to hidden feelings. Hiram Kneepad was a man who had few friends, but he tried to entertain himself the best he could. Valley for serve, anyone. But without friends, many things became hard to do. Yet, Hiram would not admit that he was lonely. I have everything a person could want. But Hiram had fallen victim to... hidden feelings. Deep down inside, he wished for friends. The trouble was that Hiram was afraid that he wouldn't be able to do what other people did, so he just never tried anything. I'll take two. Anyone. One day, there was a knock at the door. 
There's a knock at the door. Come in. Come in. Hi, Hiram. Listen, everybody's going skating. We're going to have a good time. Do you want to go? Well, Hiram was to fall victim again to hidden feelings. He wanted to go, but he didn't know how to ice skate, so he made up an excuse to cover his real feelings. No, no, I'm, I'm much too busy. Oh, come on, Hiram. If you're afraid because you can't skate, don't worry about it. We'll teach you. Afraid I can't skate? That's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, Hiram just laughed it off. <laughs> until his neighbor was gone. Yes, Hiram was a victim of hidden feelings. He just didn't want to try anything new. Even though he wanted to, he, he didn't want to look dumb. But he wouldn't admit this to himself. Ice skating, bah! I can't see the fun in it. Only stupid people ice skate. I have, I have much better things to do. <laughs> And so, Hiram spent a long, lonely winter by himself. And the passing months of summer, they too were uneventful in his life. And the fall of the year showed no rays of hope for his tortured soul. Then, after exactly one year, there was another knock at the door. There's another knock at the door. Come in, come in. Hi, Hiram. We're going ice skating again this winter. Would you like to come? Hiram almost said what he really felt, that he did want to go, but he fell victim to hidden feelings. No, no, I'm much too busy. Okay. Uh, Hiram, do you mind if I ask you a question? Oh, of course not. Um, do you, do you ever change clothes? And so, because he hid his true feelings, because he was afraid to try anything new, Hiram Kneepad was doomed to spend another year all by himself. Yes, well, it, at least I'll catch up on my reading. Uh, super say more, sleaze more, um, uh, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you. I am here once again to attempt to read my new poem, Super Seymour. <laughs> um, as before, I remind you, it's not a brand new poem, but I have been practicing reading this piece of literature, and if you will give me your support, I will try it again. Here goes, Super Seymour. <coughs> um, I wrote it myself. Did I already tell you that? Um, Super Seymour. Slipper says more sis uh, oh, <laughs> I mean, Sleeper Slews certainly sly slores the... <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time to play America's most sensible quiz show, Name That Feeling. And here's your host, Professor Emotion. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Listen to that crowd out there, it's my people! Thank you very much, pull in with the lights! <laughs> what do you think this is, a parade? Welcome to Name That Feeling. In a few seconds, we're going to have our first contestant out here, and we will see if he can talk about the way he feels. Um, excuse me, <laughs> Professor. Hello? Uh, today's secret feeling is disappointed. Disappointed? Why? Is new sweater shrink? Uh, <laughs> Do you professor. Hear that chicken? <laughs> uh, well, professor. listen next time. Professor. Hello? Please welcome today's guest, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, welcome to the show. Oh, glad to be here, Professor. Where's my prize? Wait a minute, wait. Hold it, hold it, hold it a second. First, we must play the game. Oh, I knew there was a catch somewhere. <laughs> now listen, Jeffrey, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Can you sing? Oh, sure I can. Fantastic. Let me hear a few bars of a song. Okay. <clears throat> 
It's a hot fudge show coming on. It's a hot fudge show coming on. We got a lot of new ideas going to lie on you because it's a hot fudge show coming on. Oh, it's a hot fudge show coming on. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, now, thanks. can you learn a new song? Oh, no problem. Okay, I listen. learn songs really fast. That's right. Well, fantastic. Okay, now listen very closely to this song. La, 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 no, 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 that's terrible. Forget it. Call it. That's terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, golly, I was, well, I was sure I could do it. Well, Jeffrey, you, uh, you found out that you tried to do something and couldn't do it. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Think it over and give me the answer about how you feel. Remember, I'm going to try to make him feel disappointed. <laughs> Well? Well, I guess I feel a little disappointed. <laughs> disappointed! Piggy, did you hear that? Disappointed! All right, call it with the lights. Call it. You think this is a Hollywood premiere? <laughs> Congratulations, Jeffrey. You named that feeling disappointed. <laughs> yeah, I am. I certainly thought I could do better than that. I, I guess I'll just have to try harder next time. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, I tricked you. <laughs> I Did? made it almost impossible for you to sing. It was only a game we played. <laughs> oh, boy, am I ever glad to hear that. Here's something else you'll be happy to hear. What's that? <laughs> My new song. <laughs> Professor Emotion got a commotion when he jumped into the ocean. He may because think he had I'm glad, but with his voice... I'd say that song is a big disappointment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, hello, sports fans. I'm Harry Unreasonable. What do you think of yo-yos? No, no, I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about real yo-yos with string and everything. Well, I visited several yo-yoers and uh, take a look and see exactly what you think. for stringing along <laughs> with me on the Hot Fudge Yo-Yo Report. And join me next week when we ask the question, are peanut butter sandwiches protected under the First Amendment? <laughs> Harry Unreasonable reporting. Good day. <laughs>